This is The Art of Landscape Photography. It used to be the best and most comprehensive book on landscape photography composition. So what is now? Well, it's this one here. It's The Art of Landscape Photography. Confused? Well, this is the first edition. This is a new and updated second edition. And in this episode of On My Bookshelf, we're gonna take a look at this new and updated second edition to see if it still is the book that I would recommend to anyone looking to learn or improve their landscape photography composition skills. And of course, if you're a first edition owner, whether you should drop some money and get the second edition. Welcome to On My Bookshelf. First thing I'll say is this copy here of The Art of Landscape Photography was purchased by myself from Amazon using my own money. But if you want to get a copy as well, I'll include a link for that in the video description below. The book is written by Ross Hodner and Mark Bauer, two of the UK's leading landscape photographers. They've got decades of experience under their belt. They're also experienced photography educators running both one-to-one -one services and a very successful workshop business called Dawn to Dust Photography, which has been on the go for over a decade now. They're also very experienced authors, having published several books, both together and individually. Basically, what I'm trying to say is they know their stuff. Let's have a look at the book itself. It is a soft cover book. It measures 235 millimeters by 210 millimeters and is 192 pages long. The book very much focuses on learning landscape photography composition and each of the chapters is supported by some of Ross and Mark's excellent landscape photographs. The first chapter looks at equipment. So this is things like cameras, lenses, tripods and filters. Then the second chapter looks at shooting technique. So this is things like exposure, depth of field, color theory. Now, while these first two chapters are there really to support landscape photographers just starting out in their photography journey, I think even as an experienced photographer, it's probably worthwhile reading these sections because you never know what you might pick up on because the information that's contained in these chapters isn't just sort of flat technical information. It also talks about how certain choices with equipment, filtration, etc., can impact the look and feel of your photographs. The book then moves on to its core purpose, which it describes as the heart and soul of a landscape photograph. In other words, all about the composition and design of a landscape photograph. So you'll find chapters on depth, light, perspective, and even balance. My favorite chapter though is called Geometry of Composition. And this chapter very much focuses on the principle that shapes and angles are fundamental to composition. This chapter has sections on lines, corners, shape, flow, and motion. And because I've read this section in the first edition book, which I also owned, it's actually been a chapter that's really influenced my own photography at quite a sort of fundamental level. If you watch any of my videos, particularly those when I'm out shooting on Dartmoor, you often hear me talking about lines, shapes, and angles. The other chapters contain lots of great information to help add meaning and emotion to your pictures. So there's a section, for example, called balance, and we've all heard of the rule of thirds, but have you heard of the rule of odds? And then there's a section on light, again, something that's particularly close to my type of photography, especially when I'm out shooting on Dartmoor. And each of those sections and chapters contains lots of pictures from Ross and Mark, but they're not just there to, to fill the space. Each picture will have some text associated with it, which not only describes how the picture was taken, but how the themes that you're looking at in that particular chapter relate to that particular picture. Towards the end of the book, there's sections on the different styles of landscape photography, so things like traditional landscape photography, ICM, minimalistic, and there's also a section on post-processing. There's some great techniques in there that are worth having a look at. And then finally, there's a section on how to develop and define your personal style, something which I'm working on myself, so I found some great information in that section. So is this a book for your bookshelf? Well, I loved the first edition. I bought both physical and digital copies of it. I've read it multiple times, and every time I read it, I picked up something new, and I was able to put that into practice in my own landscape photography. It really improved my landscape photography skills at a fundamental level. And that's why it was always a book that I would recommend to others who were looking to learn or improve their landscape photography composition skills. This second edition is still a book that I would recommend. It's comprehensive and easy to read, 
Each of the chapters and sections is supported by some great text and wonderful pictures from Ross and Mark that all describe what you learn about in a practical sense. So if you've got the basics of photography sorted and you really want to do a bit of a deep dive into landscape photography composition, then this is the book for you. But even if you're a slightly more experienced landscape photographer and perhaps you want to expand your skills in composition, then there's bound to be something in this book for you as well. What if you've got the first edition? Should you get the second edition? Well, probably not. Uh, I have spoken to Ross about the release of this book and even he says there's probably not enough difference between the first edition and the second edition to warrant buying the second edition if you have the first edition. Yes, the photographs have been updated and some of the post-processing techniques have been updated to reflect current tools and you know differences in cameras and lenses, etc. But the fundamentals and what you'll learn around the core of that book remain largely the same. But because this is, I consider, the best and most comprehensive book on landscape photography composition, even if you've got the first edition, why don't you make one of your photography friends very happy and buy them a second edition? As I said at the top of this video, Ross and Mark have published a fair few books before. Um, they're well worth checking out. Together they did uh, the Landscape Photography Workshop and also the Dawn to Dusk book as well. Individually, Mark has done a photo view book on Dorset, which is excellent. And Ross has just updated his uh, digital macro and close-up photography book as well. They're all well worth checking out. I'll include links to both Ross and Mark's website in the video description below so you can see all the books that they've done and check out their one-to-one -one tuition services and dawn to dusk uh, workshops as well well i do hope you have enjoyed this episode of on my bookshelf if you want to get a copy of the art of landscape photography i include a link for that in the video description below but if you've got an extra few minutes why don't you check out that special interview i did with ross and mark when they did their book from dawn to dusk and if you've got an extra few minutes after that as well, why not check out the On My Bookshelf playlist? I've done well over 20 episodes of On My Bookshelf now, so there's bound to be a title in there that can inspire your photography. But until the next episode, I'll see you then.